All right, a little bit about gradients. So you can draw a rectangle. It's taken the foreground color and the stroke color. And I'll just switch it back to default here. And now I want to apply a gradient. So I will click that. And you can see uh, here I have this. This is my gradient panel that I found on the menu, color or sorry, window, color, gradient. I can also double click on that gradient swatch tool to bring this up. Now if you have a black and white here, which does happen sometimes, uh, the way to change this is to select this stop right here. And if you have the color panel, on CMYK, you can pick a color and you can adjust the color with the sliders or by typing in values. So you can see we're changing this stop. It's also possible if you want to work with swatches, you can't just click here. If you click here, it's changing the whole object to a solid fill. But you can click and hold and drag to the stop and now we have changed the color. You can also click and drag any other swatch in between here, anywhere that you want. You can move the location. These triangles here are the midpoints between two colors and you can favor, let's say, this yellow more by sliding that over and we get more of the yellow and a less of a, a blend. It's a sharper transition. And what else do we need to know? You can add as many stops as you want. You can click one just by clicking there and then go and fill in the color that you like. You can also change something that's radial to a linear blend. You can, you can put an angle on it. 45, enter, and you can see it's changed. I'm going to undo that. With this gradient tool, you can also click and change the angle and the reversal on it yourself manually. And yeah, I think that's all that you need to know.